is currently almost 5 a.m. And one thing I always forget when I travel like this is how fucking cold it gets in the desert at night. The day was about 80 and it has plunged probably into the 40s. So I'm bundling up at my down jacket, thankfully. I don't even know if you guys can fucking see anything. But day four, 5 a.m. I'm gonna try and get a little more sleep. But fuck, never underestimate the nights in the desert. Cause they get really fucking cold. Okay, see you in a few hours. Good morning, travelers. It's like 6.15 a.m. Didn't really get back to sleep. It's still really goddamn cold. It's probably still in the mid 40s. I'm gonna wait until the sun is starting to actually hit the ground outside before I get out of the tent. It's just getting that solar heat is gonna make a big difference. Get out there and make some breakfast. And if I can find some wood, maybe even a fire. Am I allowed to do that? I don't fucking know. I don't really see anyone around here who's gonna stop me. And I'm so goddamn cold that I don't really give a shit. Good to be back. Good morning. Day four. I think it's time to make some breakfast. I think there's fucking frost on my towel here. Wow. Got really cold then. Jesus. <laughs> Accidentally made a little torch. Of course, I'm doing this in the shade. set up the solar panel, try and catch a couple rays, and uh, then we'll eat when that's ready. Alright, the bike is fully packed. Oh, glad I started filming over here. We can't have that flapping around. Come on, baby. There we go. So the bike is packed, camp is broken, uh, and it is... Hello? Uh, almost 10.30, um, which is much earlier than yesterday, and so I'm gonna count that as a victory. Um, so I'm gonna head down the road now and probably shoot my video on the El Malpais uh, National Monument. Yeah, I've overhauled my equipment setup, so I have all my filming gear on the back of the bike because it's really hard to unpack this whole vehicle to film. Um, so I'm trying to make as much of my equipment easily accessible because if it's not accessible, I don't use it. And if I don't use it, 
then my production quality is not as good as I want it to be. So I made my drone nice and accessible, got my tripod there, got my other lens up there. So hopefully I'll be able to use a little mixture of all of it at all the sites we visit without having to break down the entire bike every time I stop, because it is a 10 minute undo process and at least a 20 minute redo process. So um, it'll get faster, but I don't want to have to practice every time I have to film. So. All right, we're gonna head down the road, and if you wanna see what I do about the uh, El Malpais uh, National Monument, well, you can check it out on the main channel, unless you're here because of that video, in which case, hey, you're gonna see what I did with the rest of my day. It is currently uh, 12.30 and I am uh, just getting around to beginning to film <laughs> at the arch. One of the things about doing this type of travel, I mentioned this yesterday, it's, it is my favorite part, is stopping anywhere and then just talking to people for literal hours. I have been in this parking lot since like, <laughs> I don't know, what time did I leave camp? Like 10.30? I've been here since like, I don't know, like 15 minutes after that, and I'm just now starting filming uh, because I've just been talking to people. I met a guy named Jason and his wife who were motorcycling from Missouri, I think. They're on a huge Harley. It was like a it was like a car. Oh wait, if I'm doing this, I should put my mic on, shouldn't I? Whoa. But it was pretty cool. He, he was a very cool guy. We talked about bikes. We talked about the different kinds of bikes. You know, I think that one of the misconceptions about riding is that there's like a, you know, a certain type of bike to have, and there isn't. There's, you know, uh, a litany of them. There's a toolbox worth of bikes. This is a very different bike than the one that he had, and so it was really cool to talk with him about it. He was interested in getting into some um, bike camping as well, and so he was asking me for some tips on it. Um, but really cool. Jason, if you're watching this, safe travels out there, my friend. And then before that, I was talking to a guy named, oh shit, what was his name? He gave me his number and email in case I ever want to come help work on his goat ranch. His name is Leroy. <laughs> and Leroy had a dog named Fig Cookie, a huge white, like, I don't even know what it was. It was like a polar bear dog. I'm going to actually go start filming now, I think. Go figure. Ugh. Damn. All right. Crack of... 12.30, let's get this show on the road. Vlog Milo here, just finished filming. I have one minute of recording time left on this SD card. I'm hot as fuck. I'm going to a gas station to get some food. I'll regroup with you when I change the SD card. <laughs> That would have just been too fucking easy, wouldn't it? God damn. All right, well, I guess I have to figure out a different camp situation for tonight. Oh, I'm so tired. I really don't want to keep riding. I'll just fucking pitch camp in this grass. If they tell me to leave, I'll guilt them. If you make me leave, I'll fucking die of exhaustion on the road. And the blood will be on your hands. Hi. How's it going? Good. Who are you? No, I'm here. Yeah, you <laughs> Oh, that was the original plan, but it looks looking pretty full up there. So yeah. I'm going to do a little roundabout, see if I can find somewhere. I think there's a spot on the other side. So. 
Number one was open still. Really? Or number two. Which I must obnoxious, have so, you know. <laughs> but number one. It's okay, I'm first, too. I'll balance you the out. First one. Really? It, yeah, it kind of doesn't look like it, but number one. I'm going to have to try that again. I must have just totally missed it then. Yeah. Damn, when, when okay. We just, when we just walked down, no one had. And, and no one's come back up since me, so. There was a white van. Oh. But we did not see it come back around. Okay. Hmm. So, but you're right, it's probably almost full. Yeah. So well, I want to just try one again. Yeah, no, that's definitely worth me not going back on the road. I'll yeah, give that a try. Sure. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you. Saving grace. Go to the left. You're amazing, thank you. What's going on? How's it you going? Need, you need a place to camp, don't you? <laughs> Who gave it away? We're in the van. Oh my goodness. If you wanna if you wanna take that spot there. What is your name, sir? I'm Doug. Milo. Milo? Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Looks like we're roommates tonight. Alright, I can do that. Oh, no worries, no worries. I know I heard there was a that site one was open, but I think I may have missed it on my way up. <laughs> it's right before the, the red. Oh, arm, really? The red yeah. RV and the. And it's the, a little walk in spot. It's a walk in. Only. A walk in. I see. Okay, that explains it. So hey. actually, you would fit there if you want to do that instead. I'm going to give it a try, not because I don't want no, to no, be no. a roommate. No, 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 no. no. That, 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 that's all fine. That's all fine. You got this as a backup spot. Go check it out, see if you like it better, or if you like this one. You are the man. Thank you very much. Wow. Sometimes there's a guardian angel looking out for me, you know? Amen to that. Camp is all set up. Um, I'm doing a little bit of footage offloading and organizing, um, and then I'm gonna make some dinner. But it's been a pretty early night, which is nice. Um, we managed to get camp set up at, God, I don't even know, like seven o'clock. So that's more than I can usually say. I need to clear this hard drive. This is the footage from the Penn Museum. Look, there's Dr. Hafford in the flesh. I took one clip today on this SD card. That's a two gigabyte clip. I resent you for making me shoot in S-Log, Gianfranco. Uh, footage is being transferred to the um, hard drive now. We got 65 gigabytes of footage today. Um, and the sun is going down behind the mesa and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna start whipping up some dinner and we're gonna enjoy the sunset. The mess hall is open.
guys know what time it is. That's right, baby. It's spaghetti night. Oh, let's go. Mm. Mm. You know, sometimes a man just needs a bunch of spaghetti. I also got another bag of pickles for some reason. I don't really know why. I haven't even eaten the first one yet, but I saw these in the store and I felt compelled. Something just came over me and before I knew it, I was leaving and they were mine. So I guess it's a spaghetti and pickles kind of night. Mmm. Those look tasty. That'll be my dessert. Great sunset here too. And it's gonna be so nice to wash all these dishes with an actual spigot. This here is my equivalent of a five-star hotel. It's got a running water a running water it's got one running water that was a pretty great day i'm really fucking exhausted though the sun really took it out of me i was standing in the sun in my t-shirt for way longer than i thought i was going to be talking to people in that goddamn parking lot i'm gonna finish up dinner and i'll catch up with you to say good night well um dishes have been washed dinner has been had i have no idea where this bag came from and all in all, I would say it was a very good night. I got to camp at a good time. I got a camp spot. I mean, today really worked out pretty well. I filmed the video that I wanted to film, and I'm queued up to be right in front of the place I'm going to film tomorrow. So I'm probably going to be able to just zip right over there in the morning without even having to break camp. And I can just film and then come back, break camp, and then hit the road, which is going to be really nice. Um, but yeah, today was great. A lot of time spent talking to people. Like, I, I know I said this earlier, but I was in that fucking parking lot by the arch for three goddamn hours just talking to random people. I really need to just keep the GoPro running because I met some characters today. There was the Harley people. There was the guy who wanted me to work on his goat farm. Uh, at the um, gas station when I was getting uh, some food and fuel, um, I sat outside and ate a sandwich. I went to Subway for the first time, I think, in my entire life. I don't think I've ever been to a Subway until today. Um, but I was sitting outside and there was a bunch of women who were selling like the pottery that they were making and I just like, I was sitting down and it was all in the shade and I got talking to one of them and it was fucking fascinating. She was a ninth generation like indigenous pottery maker and she was talking about like all the methods of it and like how her grandmother, grandmother taught her how to do it and like where they go to get the clay and all the dye for it and like all this stuff. It was fascinating. It was so fucking cool and she was talking about like keeping the languages alive and she was like, you gotta come back down and you can visit the, uh, the Sky City and all this stuff and it was it was really neat to be able to talk with her and like kind of learn the actual craft that they were doing because you know you see people selling like you know the pottery and you're like oh cool it's pottery but then you're like holy shit someone made this and found all the stuff for it it was really amazing so um, that was definitely a very cool experience um, I am wiped and ready to hit the hay uh, my arms hurt real fucking bad I got really badly sunburned today um, so lesson learned, I'm going to have to layer up with some sunscreen tomorrow. Day four, in the bag. And I'd say it was a great success. So remember to stay curious, stay inquisitive, and as always, remember that I'll see you tomorrow, day five. Good night, travelers.